Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Now for reference, I'm six foot three. So Seraphim 370 watt panels. I've got four of them. So do the math. That's what's going on top of the truck. That's about 1500 watts. 21.5 kilograms of pop. By the way, that's about, I think, 45 pounds. It's gonna be pretty solid. C channel joining on the outsides and the inside of each. I don't know if it's entirely necessary to do a strip on the inside. I think the framing around the entire outside is gonna be strong enough to hold these and then on the inside. some nice L brackets on there to reinforce that joint. This is gonna be pretty solid. Heavy-duty commercial hinges, chromium.
series of catastrophic disasters have happened here in the last uh, hour. First, I realized that the holes that I drilled were too low for the hinges, so they were down here. They need to be higher up up here in order to allow for the, the uh, some area on the bottom for the bolts that are going to bolt us to, this, to the roof. All I need to know is that I set it too low. I didn't think far enough ahead to uh, get the positioning right on that, so I gotta go back and re-measure and re-drill those. That's fun. And then, as you can see, uh, one of my markers busted open, and it's this crazy chemical liquorite permanent marker. It can't, doesn't even wash off, not even with orange abrasive soap. So now my fingers are sticking together, and that's why everything's green. So, that's fun. All right, so this is what we've done. I got a hinge on the bottom here just to act as a spacer, as a proxy for the bolt heads that will be sitting on top of the angle here. This is the bracket for the solar panel, so this is where the solar panel is gonna be. And the hinge is flush with the top of that. And you can see the spacing on the back that we had to add. There's a little bit of a gap there which uh, was not there before so this wouldn't have been flush in here with the panel and the angle it's going to be holding it to this to the ceiling to the roof so we gotta go through and redo that for these guys redo the holes make them a little higher And what we have now essentially is a uh, giant Lego set. I have to take this all apart and reassemble it on the roof. Because again, there's no way I can take this whole thing and put it on the roof as one piece. So. Every good Lego set has all the pieces labeled, right?
back around and tighten everything up. Side of the framing done. Section two inside brackets is attached. You know, I heard that if you play super cheesy house music and you get drone shots in all your videos, that you get a lot more views on YouTube, like every single other van video on the planet. Maybe I'll try that out.
got the beams going across. I'll have to drill this part a little bit bigger so I can get inside to put the bolt in. Because I'm not going through both. I'm not going through the full width of this. I just want to go through the top layer. This is hollow. Get some secret flex on there, get the bolts on, and then we'll start faceting. Cicaflex 221. There. I think that was this one. Nope. Nope. Oh, I just picked, did I pick the one that was in the center? Of course. So I am cicaflexing it, and then, and then I'm also going to do thread locker. So just to remind you, we've got two brackets for the hinges, and these are pretty solid. You can't tell, I'm shaking the whole truck, and this isn't even moving. So I'm pretty sure it can hold the panels, and the panels aren't even going to be, there's not going to be much load on the brackets themselves. Most of the load will be on the actuator, which is what we're going to work on today. I'm going to get this attached to here and then we're going to get the actuator on. Let's take a look at how our waterproofing is working on the holes we made. Everything looks dry so far. Dry. Dry so far. Slid them into position. So now I'm gonna have these hinges attached. I, uh, I'm only doing one side right now. 
I only need, really need one side attached to lift this thing up on the actuator. And then once it's lifted up on the actuator, I can get underneath and hopefully attach the rest of those. Otherwise, I'll have to undo the whole thing and start over.